добрый день. Давно не общалась с вами с синего кресла. Вы знаете, хочу записать небольшое вступление, что ли, перед видео, которое хочу вам показать, поделиться с вами. Огромное вам спасибо за видео, что за то, что вы смотрите мои старые видео. Качество очень такое, конечно, плохое, но это моя память. То, что мы записывали первые годы с Дэниелом. И я вам очень благодарна, что вы смотрите. Мне это очень приятно, что я могу с вами поделиться, и вы с интересом к этому относитесь. Хочу вам рассказать, вернее показать, такой этап был у меня в жизни. И достаточно много видео я снимала для своей дочери. Мой знакомый русскоговорящий, Виктор, он тоже будет на видео позже, познакомил с американцем, чтобы этот американец смог познакомиться с моей дочерью, и если она понравится, пригласить ее в Америку для семьи. Он искал семью. И вы знаете, они достаточно переписывались долго через компьютер, созванивались по телефону, все вроде так пошло хорошо, удачно. И он послал ей уже документы на подписание визы для невесты. По телефону объяснил ей, он не был женат, он жил с папой в доме. И хотел действительно жениться на русской, потому что у него был друг русскоговорящий, он много знал уже о России. Судя по, моим, по мне, по моему примеру, как мы с Данилом осваивали жизнь, хотя у меня очень-очень слабый был английский, до сих пор он у меня на бытовом уровне. Но, тем не менее, я хочу сказать, что отношение вот именно американцев к этому очень такое лояльное. И вот именно э, Ричард, его имя Ричард, ему было 42 года. Говорю в прошлом времени, потому что, к сожалению, он ушел из жизни скоропостижно. Но так получилось. Все у него было хорошо, все нормально. Он был полон жизни и энергии. Хотел жениться на моей дочери. Посылает ей документы. По телефону ей объясняет, где расписаться, где поставить подпись, чтобы она отправила обратно. И после того, как он ей все это объясняет, заканчивает беседу и падает в обморок. Ну вот так бывает, видимо, от стресса, я не знаю почему, или судьба такая. Падает в обморок, его увозят в госпиталь и находят у него опухоль. И вот сейчас я вам выставлю видео, где вот он после первой операции ему вырезали, это была опухоль, как он говорил, с черешню. Ему эту опухоль вырезали, и он, естественно, был уверен, и не терял надежды, и был полон оптимизма, что он преодолеет эту болезнь, что все у него будет хорошо. Он еще больше зацепился за этот шанс быстрее значит, мою дочь вызвать и создать семью. И мы, естественно, с Дэниелом бросали все, приезжали к нему, общались, старались тоже помочь, как могли. Это все растянулось на полтора года. Мы ходили в гости, он приходил к нам в гости, приезжал, потом он был в госпитале, до конца мы ездили в госпиталь, все это было очень, ну, будем говорить, бурно, активно и очень напря... напряжно. Напряг такой был, что не особенно, когда я работала каждый день, нужно было умудряться с моим практически нулевым английским что-то переводить еще между дочерью и Ричардом. Ну хорошо, Виктор, он хорошо знал английский, он помогал ему там переписываться. Ну вот такая у меня история была в жизни. И я хочу, вот так, такая судьба, но вот так получилось. И хочу с вами поделиться, вот какой он, значит, был американец, сколько у него было желаний. Он, конечно, много говорит по-английски, но... Между этим английским он всегда находил момент что-то сказать по-русски, потому что он знал, что я записывала это видео для своей дочери, что она будет его смотреть. Он хотел, естественно, понравиться и старался как-то что-то смешно сказать, показать. Ну вот, не знаю, будет ли вам это интересно, но я посчитала это этим 
ну, поделиться что ли с вами. Тем более я там тоже присутствую, Дэниел присутствует. И... Память у меня осталась очень приятная. Ну, конечно, горечь от того, что не осуществилось, но те моменты общения доставляли огромное удовольствие. Очень приятная семья, его папа был учитель музыки, очень интеллигентная семья, большая. Но в то время уже мама умерла у Ричарда, он жил с папой. Ну вот это кратко, что я вам хотела сказать. И предлагаю вам значит, посмотреть наш первый визит в американскую семью. Это был 2004 год. Как мы общались, как он пытался значит, с моей дочерью. Ну тогда уже переписывались они через компьютер, общались по телефону. Но письма я помню через компьютер, интернет еще был такой слабый, что так они долго шли, он отправить. Там у дочери, по-моему, да, не было компьютера. Она шла там к друзьям, к знакомым, ждала это письмо, которое он напишет на английском. Потом переводила его на русский. У меня даже где-то, кстати, есть его письмо, переведенное на русский. Вот. Это было огромное... Насколько сейчас все проще, но тогда это было настолько так сложно все. И была проведена очень большая работа с моей стороны по воссоединению, по возможности приехать моей дочери в Америку, создать семью с хорошим порядочным американцем. И я предлагала все мои усилия для этого. Дэниел мне помогал тоже. И ну, не получилось, так вот сложилось, что такая судьба, видимо. Но я хочу с вами поделиться. Я не, не хочу говорить об этом грустно. Это был мой опыт, жизненный опыт, с который, которым я очередной раз хочу с вами поделиться. Спасибо за внимание, спасибо, что смотрите мои старые видео и относитесь с пониманием. Спасибо огромное. Всем счастья, любви. Пока. Вот мы подъехали к дому Ричарда. Вот Ричард стоит в беседе. Какая трава у него тут о цветочках они говорят все он знает о цветочках Ребята, если хочет цветочки. Как Денис? Ты сказала, что тебе нравится это? Он говорит об этом. Oh, yeah. If, if you keep 
because everybody I paid attention the day after surgery when I was walking, uh, I was looking into some of the rooms. Everybody who had breathing tubes in, they they weren't no water, nothing like that. And I was like, man, I could have been like that. But thank God that surgeon had steady hands, or and he's really good. You know, uh, I'm trying to think of other plants here. One last summer I planted that. Ходячая энциклопедия. Все знают. Привет, Ана. Привет. 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 Голова. Голова? Да. English? I've got the books. I'm, in, I'm always in all that. I studied four years of Spanish. And, uh, well, you've lived in Florida, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I can see you using that. Yeah, but I did that. Well, it was required in high school to take a foreign language as I know. Yeah. Actually, I did it as an elective, and I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed the challenge of learning another language. Anyway, uh, Anna is a very good teacher. She teaches me Russian all the time. I speak. Uh, uh, I teach her English. Oh, absolutely. I, I love going through the dictionary with her. She knows that. Well, <laughs> heck, that, that's a that's a fun thing for me. We do that all the time, like yesterday. Because I have 50 of them more. Wow. Luba, how do you say nurse? Nurse. Nurse. Like the the woman in the hospital. Ah, sis, mid sister. Mid sister. Yes. I, I thought I learned another word in the dictionary. Mid sister. Okay. Med medical sister. Okay, I'm, I'm going to look at another word. I thought it was something Elka, something like Sielka uh, or something like that. What, what? Sielka? Sidelka. Yeah, something like that. Mm, yeah, the same. Close, okay. Sidelka. Yeah, I want to say hi to my beautiful nurse. <laughs> <laughs> nurse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she recommended that I start eating a lot of fruits, you know, healthier things, and maybe I will get better from that. So today I went to the store, uh -huh. I bought banan, uh, klumika, <laughs> and I forget how to say orange. Uh, I'm sorry, apples. How do you apples, say apple? apples, yablaka. Yablika? Yablaka. Yablaki? Yablaka. <laughs> Yablaka, Yablika. okay. I bought some of those too. And the thing I don't get, they call lettuce salad, which is salad. Salad. Yeah, you yeah. think there'd be a different word for salad, but I got some of that too, so I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier now because I've been on a salad kick anyway. Yeah. You know? Be yeah, well, I got that before I got this. I started really enjoying the salads though because uh, I've been eating uh, lunch meats for lunch so long, every once in a while you get tired of that stuff, and I knew it was better for me anyway. And so I'm listening to my nurse and I'm behaving now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> good bridge. Inspection on bridges and land rests. Oh, okay, okay. Most of my time is spent right now in the same job. Oh, okay, okay. So you're definitely keeping busy with that. Oh, yeah, especially since it's tracking. <laughs> wow. So you think uh, maybe a Patsalui on, on the Golova? <laughs> what do you say, Anna? Maybe one? Uh, Patsalui or Patsalu? Patsalu is many, right? Yes. Yes. Patsalu is one kiss. Oh. Patsalu is multiple kisses. I, yeah, she taught me that yesterday. I said, one kiss is Patsalu. I said, how do you say many kisses? And she said, Patsalu. Patsalu. Yeah. Yeah, many. Many is Yeah, Patsalu. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a tour of the house. You think so? You want to go? Uh, manufacture. Bonechka, yeah? Yeah, city. Oh, oh. Donet, Donets, Donetska, Kaya. Okay, I tried. Okay. 
Do we have any alcohol in these things? Any vodka? <laughs> wow, that's really good. I'd like to share that with Anna. One degree water, or is that too cold for you? <laughs> no, maybe no for Russia. I know so for much. her, she could get into it. I guarantee you. she. She'd say, "What do you?" Yeah. Anna, come swimming with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for you. Bassin, she can't wait for the water. It's like Oh, for me. The water has to be almost a bath. If it's not about 86 degrees, I don't want anything to do with it. Will it get that up? Huh? Will it get that up? Yeah, absolutely. When we start getting up about 90 degree temperatures, yeah, this water will jump real quick to 86 degrees, 88 degrees. But anything over that, it really doesn't feel good to be in it. These things grow this high. And uh, maybe uh, tomorrow or Monday, I'm going to be coming out and mowing my yard. The doctor told me I could do these things so I don't have to worry about it. He, he told me if I want, I can continue walking. Mm -hmm. Just the things I was doing before. No, I don't yeah. have to be afraid of anything. Stay active. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I'm planning on doing. That's why I went walking this morning. But I'm, I'm not running until the doctor says it's safe for me to do that because I don't want my head to be yeah. going, Ch -ch -ch, mm -hmm. you know, my brain slapping against the top of my oh. head. That's Especially why I didn't run this morning. Out. But uh, I'm sure all that will pass in time. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to beat this stuff. Okay. I've got a positive attitude. I've got hundreds of people praying for me. Uh, the big thing there is attitude. Oh, absolutely. A lot of people, uh, if they had this, they might just lay down in a bed and say, oh, why even go yeah. on? I'm just going to lay here, not me. I'm ready to beat the world. Just like I was before. I've got, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm, I've got a whole lot of energy. <laughs> I feel just like I do. Whenever I get off the phone with Anna, the first thing I want to, I never want to hang the phone yeah. up. And I was trying to explain that to her, and she didn't understand yesterday. I was trying to say, <laughs> it's bless you. I was trying to tell her it's very sad whenever we have to hang the phone up that I wish it could go forever. But uh, when I do hang the phone up with her, oh, 
a lot of times the first thing I'll do is I'll call Vicar and say, Vicar, I just had a great conversation with Anna. I'm so excited. I'm ready to go again. I have a lot of energy and don't know what to do with it. So that's that's real fun for me. That sounds <laughs> Stan. You know, it, it's it's so much fun. I know sometimes you told me that uh, Anna probably thinks that it's frustrating me that I have to look through the dictionary. But honestly, I love that. That's a lot of fun for me because it helps me to learn Russian as well as her to understand the English. Yes, that's the best thing about the translation. Oh, absolutely. Anna now more relaxed, yeah? Oh, yeah. More enjoy. Oh, more. yeah. I love the phone Say calls. Say more understand now you. Right. Oh, absolutely. When I first started speaking with her on the phone, I was nervous because I didn't. Yeah, because I didn't know anything about her. I did not know her ability with English. I didn't. I had no ability with her language either. But now that I know that she's interested, and I know that uh, she's having fun, and I'm having fun, every time we speak on the phone, I get all excited. And as soon as I hear her answer the phone, and she knows that I called right at 10 o'clock, my heart just starts to beat real quickly. I get very excited. <laughs> And I told her that uh, it makes me sweat, too. I said, that's because I'm hearing your beautiful voice all the time. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. That right there, when, when you put it into the pool, it bends very much. But once you get your butt into it and you lay back and you put your arms across here, it becomes very, very sturdy. It, you, don't, you don't do any of this. And Anna has a picture of me laying in this. Yeah. I sent her a picture a long time ago of being in the pool laying on that. Oh, did you like the picture I sent you, Ivana? Which one? Where you were babying her? Did I send you a baby I, I, picture? I didn't, the, I didn't get the meaning of uh, that one line, something that said, uh, I, you make me feel like a little uh, girl or something, or a little baby. <laughs> what did that, I didn't understand that line. Uh, what was it? Was it you were, Anna was saying it? Oh, Anna was saying it to you because of the, where you were talking to her, you make you made her feel as comfortable as a little baby. Oh, that's what she yeah. was meaning. Okay, I, I didn't. I was I was trying to think. Did I insult her? No. And I didn't think I did. Remember, you're getting three uh, third-party translation. Right, right. She's reading what Anna writes, translating it to me in broken English, and I'm trying to write it down in the English. And you're what about everybody's about make doing you fun. fun. Make you fun. Yeah, she she likes my letters, right? She, she oh yeah. She's yeah. professional. Very, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like writing. You know, you know, yet yeah. many. My letter, well, let me tell you something before. I, I, wrote, I wrote a book before. About yeah. I wrote a book before. It never got published. Right. And, and I'm sure that the practice that I had on that probably helps me with mine. Plus, I've always been a very good speller my whole life. Uh, when I was in uh, grade school, uh, I was always in contests for, uh, to spell words. They call them spelling bees. And I always did very good. My class, I was always like maybe the best, one of the first top two spellers in the class all the time. So you'd have hooked up with my brother good. Yeah. He was that way. Yeah, and I was, I've just always been a good writer, good at punctuation, spelling, sentence structure, all of that stuff. And it's just carried over. See, I was the jock. I played football and wrestled. Going to class was an option. I played golf. They didn't have golf and, in mine. Soccer. Uh, they, they don't have the game of golf in Russia, do they? But you know what, you but you know what the game is, right? But Anna probably has never heard of it. I know they got soccer. I know that everybody in Europe has soccer. soccer. Yeah. They call it soccer or football? Football. Football? football? European football. Wow. Good grief. So that's the float that you need to look for, and they come out every summer. Well, Generally, target. you can find them at Target. Okay. And they're, they're inexpensive. Like I say, you should be able to find them under $15. So, uh... You lose weight, no? No. Oh, Actually, on my normal weight. I, th I thought that I was going to put weight on because of all the stuff I was eating in the hospital. Wow, but yesterday? Good grief. Does it look like I put weight on, or do I look okay? Does it look like I put something on? No, maybe a little bit face, no? Oh, you think I put some weight on in the face, maybe? Uh, I, I don't know if I did. My weight is still the same on the scale, to be honest with you. But uh, my appetite's been very, very high. No, I mean, that's I good. haven't been overeating or anything, but I've had a very hearty appetite lately. Because, I mean, I, I feel real good. We went out to dinner last night. 
And uh, they gave very big portions. And wow, when they brought the food to the table, Dad and I, we looked at each other and said, you have to be kidding me. He goes, I hope you can eat some of this stuff because I can. So, but I'm still waiting for uh, the summer. Once it gets hot out, and I can get out and walk more, go to uh, the Puyash. Picture on the same today, no, no, lose weight, diet. Say it for you, no? For four. Diet. What, Anna lose weight? She said. Diet now, one week. What? She six, six pounds eh, loose. She, I, uh, she thinks she needs to lose weight? Yeah. That's she, a I say send picture saying no, after two weeks I more lose weight, I do picture. I say, That's a losing battle, Richard. Don't matter, send now, no. She send doesn't me. need to lose weight at all. She's beautiful. She, no. That's she a lose it. Let's six see. pounds now lose, same me today. Six she, pounds. She has the weight in all the right places. If she thinks she needs to lose Eat weight, not perfect. <laughs> if she thinks she needs to lose weight, what the heck does she think of me? I must be a real oh, fat ass. We're allowed to be. We're allowed to be. Oh, we're allowed to be? The men she are allowed to be out of shape. She doesn't think I'm fat? Yeah. No. The women have to be more beautiful than us. Oh, good grief. She doesn't need to lose any weight at all. Say me, I need more lose weight. After, she I, didn't say after I do picture. <laughs> oh, is she going to do the ones with the, uh, with the green lingerie? The pajamas? Pajamas, Is she yeah. going to do the ones with the green? Yeah. She is going to make those? Yeah. Okay. We sent her a bunch more stuff so she can go through it again. <laughs> well, when I sent you sent a couple packages. Size, I didn't realize that she was built. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Yes, she's well endowed up top. Absolutely, because she, she, no, size, yeah, the first yeah. photos that I received, she didn't look like she was that big. When she sent the first photos, man, I was like, you got to uh, looking away from the camera mm -hmm. while they were doing, and she, it was a lady, I take it, right? That took Show me pictures, Luba. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, she knows what she's doing with the lighting, too. That's the one that you were yeah. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not that. That's an interesting picture to get, yeah, like I one o'clock in the morning. I love what they did with the lighting here too. <laughs> yeah. And and this is where I was like, damn, that's when I knew. <laughs> that's when I knew about the boobs. Yes. <laughs> well, see, that's like when me and Lubov go shopping for. I see, you think I see before you. I see your picture. Mm -hmm. Girl, here I see. Oh, I say thank you. Now I see you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. When I saw that, when I saw that photograph, I said, "There's no way that she's fitting in that stuff that I sent her, because it's too small." You know, and I knew that. But uh -huh. but the lighting, I love the way they did the lighting yeah. on her hair. Very yeah. very professional, and that lady can take photographs. Wow. <laughs> very very nice. <laughs> You say you want champagne? It's not a problem. I've, I've got water, I've got three kinds of soda, I've got iced tea, I've got piva, I've got vino, uh, I've got anything that you probably want to drink. You got vino? Yeah. You want to try vino? <laughs> I've got this stuff down here, it's pretty good. It's a, uh, it's a white Zinfandel. That's one of our favorite wines. If you'd like to try that, I'll pour you a glass. Well, that's, it's going to get open sooner or later. How about you? You want anything? I'll drink. Water, soda, no, I'm good to go. Okay. You have to I'm dealing with a sore throat. Okay. Come on in, please. Anna, welcome to my home. Thank you. Welcome to my dungeon. I don't know how to say welcome. How are you set for candles, Lula? Oh, you're the one feeding her the candles? Huh? I'm the one feeding her the candles. See this kind of opener? See if it works. I enjoy it. Yeah, I know. It's a new interest in every day. Spiking up there. Let's see here. I tell you, this whole, I'd love to see this whole. I hope this thing works this time. It's going to be hard. There's something wrong with the opener or the corks. This thing works. It's, it blows the cork out, but it's not working properly lately, and I don't know why. This thing, it's a CO2 and it blows the cork out, but it's not working properly. So I have to go back to the conventional opener. What great weather, though. All the whole Florida swing. Just terrific weather. Huh?
Oh, that's why that opener is not working properly, because there's a big flare in the court. See how the court gets wide at the end? That's why that other opener wouldn't pop it. Players Championship is being brought to you by Crestor, proud sponsor of the Crestor Charity Challenge. Also by Tyler, the most played name in golf. By IBM, making on-demand business a reality for companies around the world. You got your wine now, Lou Buff, you happy? <laughs> <laughs> I always got the wine up. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'll like that one, too. <laughs> Vino. No? I could probably uh, have a little bit with you. Oh, yeah, I'll have a little no. bit. And I even know the proper word you say. Watch out. 17. He's right back. <laughs> now it's Arobia. Too much? Very much. So I, I, want, I want a lot of help. I pray for it and I know in my heart that I'm going to get over this. This stuff is going to get out of my head. Absolutely, it will. You like? Very good wine. Have y'all, y'all haven't had dinner, right? No, I wasn't going to go. Okay, I was thinking if everybody gets hungry or whatever, we could order pizzas or something or maybe go to some. Uh, oh, there's the plumeria right here. That's plumeria. That right there. No, I'm more like uh, red. Oh, the red one? I wonder if you're talking about maybe this one down here. Yeah. There's a red one. That one? Yeah, That's no, raspberry right. sorbet. Yeah. You like that? <sighs> Take a couple of those. Thanks. <laughs> well, you don't like them? Uh, no, 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 no. Let's put it this way. I gave up that fight a year and a half ago. <sighs> Smells good. That's all that romance stuff. You go to the hospital, I put my, I, I, before I think I say, no, you go to the hospital, I put. Mm -hmm. H? Yeah. It's okay. How, how are you on, how, how are you on these, uh, these, uh, clear ones, the tea lights? You got plenty of those? Oh, my mother had a bunch of them still. You got them. Mother by, I'm but it's okay. It's okay. okay. Cause she went to, uh, see my mother's sister is from New York. And she went to the uh, uh, manufacturer place for these candles. Uh huh. Wow. What's the name? Can you show Anna your computer room? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We'll show her the computer room. Dad's in there now. This is the living room. I've got some photographs to show you too. Yeah. The duplicates of what you know, I sent her. Oh, you know, yeah. what? Did so I send to her? Anna say today uh, have a paper from uh, postmail about the pack package from you. Okay. I don't know what. Yeah, there Tomorrow. were okay. There were five only, packages, only but she can't get that on Sunday, more. right? She has to wait till Ma Monday. Monday only. Yeah, okay. okay, let me no. see if say, I can. Say turn. today, paper only come. Paper for. Right. Maybe not one. Okay, it's got to be some of some of that stuff I sent. What the? This is Epcot. Epcot. Yeah, this is oh. before I forget what they called that. Uh, Epcot. I think it's called the Living Sea. Uh -huh. Is is that particular Thank ride? Those are phony fishes, or fish. That's a European phone booth over, uh, it's also at Epcot in, in the Irish area of I in Ireland, I guess. And I said, hey, that looks like it'd make a nice photo. That, that's I could do a picture for you. My friend Debbie. Uh-huh. Uh yep, uh, she has a friend that works at Disney, and she got us in there for free. Yeah. yeah, she took us in, just uh, walked us to the gate, got us in there for free, and then we walked around and took a whole bunch of photographs. Mm -hmm. you know, I didn't have a zipper on my head, though. <laughs> Watch your step coming up. Are you tired? No, no, not tired at all. I just want to see if I need to. These are stronger than stitches. That's probably why they did that. <clears throat> That's what I'm thinking. They, they hold stronger more, than... Uh, they're more sanitary, too. Oh, yeah, probably so. Yeah. 
being metal. Here's the computer room. You, you've been in here before. We're coming in here to show Anna where the heck I arrived her from. Oh. Oh, you're going to put her on film? Yep, absolutely. And we're having some vino. Oh, you want to get in the chair so you look nice? No, 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 no. Everything is fine. Oh, we can show her uh, this. <laughs> and And this. <laughs> yeah, I got them in my room. Then I got the uh, Russian English tapes. Oh, know. what was the word? I wanted to look up chivalry. Would you want me to take a bad picture of his room? This is his room, okay? Anna, this is where I have sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you go. Right. What? I can't talk and record it. No, same. you do. Here we go. Shit. Let's see if they have chivalry in here. I don't know that they will. What do you look what? Yes, that word I was what? teaching you earlier. Chivalry, right here. Can you understand that yeah, word now? Yes. Yep. That's what I was trying to teach you out there earlier. Well, it's old words now. Don't use. <laughs> How's the saying go? Shirley's dead. Yep. Some, yeah. some, some men don't do it, but some do. You know? No, now we use words maybe gentlemen. Right, right. Yeah. I, I was always taught that you open a car door or any door for a woman. Mm -hmm. You open yes, the door yeah, and let yes, her go yes. in first. I was yeah. taught all that. You, you help them out of the car, all of that. Gentlemen. Absolutely. Uh, Anna, I have to show you something. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is. <laughs> Baby oil? Yeah. <laughs> massage. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. Massage, yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm very good at that, too. <laughs> absolutely. And, and we talked about this stuff. That, that's just a little bit. We could bathe in, in the amount of that thing. That's so much. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this is my bedroom. Uh, this is where you live. You live right here. I hope she got that. Yeah. And of course, we live way over here. Yeah, we're way over here. Yeah, we're there. It's only a couple of miles. What is that, about 16,000 miles That's from here to there? Or is it trip. more? I've never figured it out exactly. <laughs> wow. You sent the uh, tape music. Oh, yeah. I, and and yeah some, uh, she so has more friends, music. She yeah. has more music coming now. And right here, I have uh, 90 CDs and a couple extra wow. right there. You know, all different kinds of things. But I sent her, of course, the romantic music, <laughs> the good stuff. Because yeah. uh, not, not all of it's good. I'm not saying you really enjoy it. That's what she told me. Very professional, you do everything. Uh, I, I, well, my recording uh -huh. uh, is broken for my cassette uh -huh. deck, so I use the recording on his stereo in the computer room. Uh -huh. But yeah, I, I, I treat it very professionally. I just I put the tape in, you make sure. Sign. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh absolutely. Very organization, very. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I put the name of uh, whoever the artist is, and then I'll put the name of each song down, so she yeah. knows. You know, that, that's the way. I want her to know what it is. Yep. And everybody knows me to be very organized anyway. That's good trade. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I do that around the house, too. Yeah. Certain things. That. Heck, you saw my candle selection in the closet. That's all organized, too. I've always been that way. That's some, a good trade. Some other things need attention around here, but uh, I just I don't have the time right now to get to them. Through Mira. I want to see Anna in a thong. Myself. I want to see Anna in a thong. I told her on the phone she needs to be in one. See, I was thinking of any tapes that Anna My, my green us. pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're, they're matching. <laughs> you say you like uh, blue color. Oh, I do, but green's good, too. But what's good, though, is it feels the same thing. You know, they're, they're real <laughs> sheets like that. <laughs> good grief. I've never had silk sheets. I don't know how that would feel. They weren't. They're, they're, not, pretty they're, no, neat. Good, uh, they're no good to sleep in. They're no good to fool around. Probably make it real hot, too, right? Well, you slide. Uh, 
on some of those jobbers. I'll keep the ones that I have a whole boatload of are these Ford ones. Yeah. I'll just put them on the counter and they'll be gone by the end of the day. There you Atlanta, go. Or, uh, on, we'll fucking, I got the black lady that's our front desk receptionist. His name On. Mm -hmm. She'll appreciate it. I need to send Anna some black pens, too. I didn't realize black pens are hard to come by in Russia. <laughs> are they? Yeah. We found that out because she didn't. It, what did it take her? Two days to find a black pen for the paperwork? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember, I remember, you remember, I, I see. Yeah. Dura cry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember she called that her that a long night. time ago, and I, I forgot all about it when I sent the papers over there. I meant to send a black pen, and I forgot yeah. about it. Yeah, she was <laughs> crying to me about it when. <coughs> see, at the bakery she works for, they used to make the chocolate. Ah, Richard, Anna say you sent uh, toys, uh, Mishka? Yes, Mishka. For Val Valentine's Day? Yes. Uh, Broken battery, say you need um, cut for change. I say maybe you don't find place for change battery. Say no, no place for change battery, need cut. Uh, no, yeah, no? What's the problem? Uh, uh, say. Something, on the say. Toy <laughs> center. Uh huh. On the Toy U Center that had batteries in it? I don't the remember one that had batteries in it. No, uh, Mishka. Uh, say, um, oh, oh, I, this day, yeah. Yeah, I know the one you're saying. Yeah, well, it says some, something shit. like, uh, "You're as sweet as honey," something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know the one you're talking. To. So that thing's dead. The battery. Yeah, battery dead. dead. The batteries get changed. Same probably one day, but he said. Yeah, you probably do have to cut that thing to get into yeah, it, right? Yeah, you need to say it. No. The yeah, tell her. You know what Velcro is? What? Tell her to check the bottom of it for Velcro. Yes, Dora, no, no, but. Don't, don't want to cut broken. They tell her to mail it to me and I'll find where the batteries are. Put new batteries in no, the back. No, no, Daniel, no problem. Battery, <laughs> problem. Uh, very love, uh, Mishka. Don't want cut. Well, Body. Don't, don't cut it. Mail it to me. I'll fix it. Send it back, and no one's gonna tell Rich. I'll think everything's ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, she probably played that thing a hundred times, right? Just tell her to mail it to us, and we'll look at it and fix it. Don't go cutting it open and destroy. Wish something. you were here for the vino. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Yasku Chayo. You're spoiling. Now remember, when you get once you get her here, pound the English into her. That's the only way. Oh, she's teach. learning now. Yeah. Every time we speak on the phone, she's getting better with English too. I hope so. Cause and last I, and time I, think, I talk to her. Uh, well, she's learning many words. I don't know if she's really uh, remembering uh, most of them or not, but uh, her English improves every time we speak on the phone. It gets better, and I hope she doesn't think I'm uh, lying about that because it's true. That's good. Uh, absolutely. This is where I have sweet dreams of you, right here. <laughs> Do you like my colors of my sheets? Bad. Yeah, that's a good color combination. I like them. They're some of my favorites. Don't even get into it with her in indirect. Indoor day. Interior direct or decoration. Mm-hmm. Cause that's one thing when I got married. <laughs> you're Hillary Clinton. She's an old battle axe. Oh, you're a Republican too, huh? <laughs> no, I just I hate her. Okay. And I hate her husband as well. Hey, one of the most man. dishonest men we've ever had run in this country. Got the definition of sex changed for him. Did you see that we had the uh, doll out there of him hanging yeah. from a noose? Yeah. I hope you shot that. Oh, I got some of it. I should send that to my brother. He's a big Clinton supporter. Good grief. My dad in there, he hates that man something awful. It's not Whenever. so much what he did. It's that he lied about it. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't like liars at all. Yeah. I am I am so honest. The only thing I ever expect in life, I want people to be honest with me like I'm going to be with yeah. them. That's all I ever ask. You know, I have a feeling that... A lot of this that went on wouldn't have went on if he would just come out and said, yeah, okay, I did have an affair with her. And then he could have used the excuse, but have you seen a picture of my wife lately? I never had sex with that yeah. woman, Monica Lewinsky. Yeah. You're pretty good. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a compliment or not. I don't want to sound or look anything like him. Yeah. Maybe he should have had one of these things and not me. Yeah. <clears throat> Anna, please, Pazza Louie. <laughs> They've come a ways. Like when Luba first started working for me, I didn't even know she spoke English. Until the day she hacked her finger off. 
And then no one helped or Wow, you cut a finger off or you oh, just cut the tip, the tip of it off? My dad cut the tip off when he was in the Navy. Yeah, she, a got, fingers. she was feeding the machine and it pulled her finger through the guard. So it wasn't even a sharp wow. object that cut it off. So it was just like it ripped through it. Oh, you know that hurt. And then no one wanted uh, to help her. She's screaming and bleeding and I run over and I grab her finger and pinch it off. Bring her in and try to get her to get first aid and get the doctor going and you know, and now you're married. She fell in love with you from that one experience. That, that's no. what made it. After that, <laughs> well, the funny thing is, after that, then it became known that I, they could come to me for their problems for help. Mm -hmm. And that was just a Pandora's box for opening up. There you go. All right. <clears throat> We're getting plenty of film for Anna, yes? Yes. Yeah. Now i got to go home and put all this on tape. Plenty of good tape. Yes. A lot of smiling. A lot of that good stuff. Yeah, that's what she wants to see. Oh, I'm sure. I would want to see that, too. I wish it was possible for her to film, make a video and get it over here on VHS. We were thinking that of sending, because like one of these, a, a little one you can pick up for like 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. But it's just the thing. Is it it gets stolen in the yeah, mail. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I told Victor a long time ago, I don't believe in sending uh, things registered over there. It doesn't because I think good. That's, that's a flag that someone says, hey, there's something valuable in here. Let's check it but out. it doesn't do you no good. They didn't yeah. tell you at the U.S. Post Office? Oh, I, yeah. I know it, it doesn't it guarantee it Moscow. Anything. How do you say massage in Russian? The same. Oh, massage? Well, yes. I'm the ready. <laughs> we have a little bit of vino. A little bit of baby oil. <laughs> you have the candles. You're all yeah, good to go. yeah, I've got the candles romantic going. Romantic music. I've got plenty of romantic music. You're set to go. Now you're only missing one thing. Yep, her. Yep. What's your birthday? July 15th. July 15th? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> good month. Good what? Month. Oh, good month, yes. Yeah. That's a very popular one. Absolutely. <laughs> You know, now you get present. Did you want a little bit more wine? No, thank you. You sure? Okay. I just want to be. I just want to be a so. nice host. <laughs> I don't want to be rude. Oh, he gets to keep guns, but I had to get rid of all my swords. Something ain't fair about this game. She wants to talk to Anna. Yes, Anna come. Yasku Child, come here. Come here. We're, 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 we're going to see you very soon. Very soon we will finally meet. Oh, you're telling her very soon we will meet? Yes, absolutely. Say <laughs> am very anxious, too. Very, very anxious. Excuse me for a minute. I'll go get one of my guns. <laughs> yeah, I know that she said she liked all the photographs of me holding these things. This is the one that I shot the two deer with. I, I, I sent her photographs of the two deer that I caught, that I shot. I don't think she liked it. <laughs> I've never known a woman yeah, like that. Yeah, because she, I think she was saying something like, uh, you, you killed the two deer or something. She loves animals. Mm -hmm. I don't like uh, stuff in your food. Yeah. But th this, this right, Vince? Okay. See how big everything is? Uh -huh. And if you dial this thing up, you know, more toward the 20, it just gets huge. So something real small becomes very, very yeah. big. You're on. Hi, Anna. I hope you enjoyed uh, visiting my house and seeing that I'm healthy right now. You can see the smile on my face. I'm looking very much forward to meeting you very, very soon. I don't know where, whether it's going to be Mexico or Moscow, but we will get together very soon. I just have to find out from the doctors. Take care. Uh, Patsalu. <laughs> uh, how do you say hugs? Help me. Many hugs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> A lot of those too. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten her photos out here and kissed them too. Yeah. Oh, uh, you don't, you don't. Please don't worry about dieta. You, you don't need that. You're, you're beautiful. Prakrasnia. Very much. Forget the diet. Make photographs, please. Yeah. I'm waiting. Right I'm waiting now. very patiently. <laughs>
Okay, now it's Mama's turn. I need to no. step to the side. <laughs> I took too many time for Dora. It's okay. Okay. Problem. No problem. Yep. problem. The, these will be removed yeah. Monday. Problem is going no more. Yep. No they more. will be removed yeah. Monday. <laughs> Everything is okay. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. There, yeah, there's a big yeah. uh, semolot. Semolot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know that word. One day I'm going to be on. Yep, yeah. I'm going to be on one of those guys, and I'm going to be on the way, maybe to the tropics of uh, Cancun, Mexico. Oh, how do you say thong swimsuit? Kupalnik. <laughs> you, you need to get one of those, sweetie. <laughs> Kupalnik. Yeah, she 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 needs to get one of those things too. <laughs> And, and send photographs, please. What do you like, Kupalnik? Uh, very strong, how bikini, what? I, I like two pieces. Two pieces. Yeah, but okay. the bottom the bottom with the thong, you know what I'm talking about. She has the rear end for yes, that. Yes, yeah. uh, And what, what, wait, I forget what the word for rear end I used. Uh, Victor, to popa. You, yeah, you, you have the popa for that. Yeah. <laughs> I must have said that word to her the other day six times. She was probably getting tired of hearing. Do I enjoy it. listen? Yeah. She she was Say probably. Say me about your words. Oh, she. Russian, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have so much fun laughing with her on the phone. I really do. Uh, Dura happy to talk with you. All the time. I I hope she doesn't think I'm frustrated because I go through the dictionary because I'm not. I really love that, yeah. and I think she understands because I tell her every time we speak you on the enjoy. phone. You can enjoy. Oh, it, it's a lot of joy, a lot of pleasure. Uh, so I will see you again soon. I will write and I will call you even sooner. You take care of yourself and forget about the dieta. You don't need that. <laughs> I already I told her twice now. You think she's is she gonna believe me? Yeah. Don't be stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> because see me every time. You know, I'm very you know what stubborn. you need? You you need a very nice hug from me. That's what yeah. you need. A very nice hug. <laughs> Say goodbye, guys. Bye, uh, guys. <laughs>